Very pretty. Now, a teacher from Suffolk is on his way to Antarctica as part of a scheme to help teachers inspire their students. Russell Capra from Haverhill is one of four teachers chosen by the Fuchs Foundation and will set off at the beginning of next month. Andrew Johnson reports. Antarctica. It's a long way away from Suffolk, but at the Fuchs Foundation, they believe there are lessons here that can be brought back to classrooms at home. Every year they sponsor teachers to challenge themselves in one of the most demanding environments on earth, as well as taking part in experiments that are based around the national curriculum. It's all about inspiring teachers and changing lives, not only their own but the pupils, um, inspiring their school community and everyone around. Russ Capra is a physics teacher at Samuel Ward Arts and Technology College in Haverhill in Suffolk. He'll be going out in November. He'll be looking at ultraviolet radiation and thinks the trip will make a big difference to his pupils. Oh, it's immensely inspiring to, to be there, to be able to go to Antarctica as a teacher because, you know, having the experience as a teacher and tell your students that you've been there, you know, telling from a book or telling from a video is not the same thing as having been there and being able to tell your students how it is and what the experience was like. So hopefully that will inspire them to achieve whatever dreams they have. And whilst their teacher is away, Mr Capra's pupils will be able to keep up with his progress. There will be a link at least one day uh, where they will call me and ask me questions about Antarctica, how things are going. But we will try to keep updating them uh, via Twitter uh, and then hopefully they'll be able to keep track of how we're doing and how the conditions are and so on. And those conditions are likely to be harsh with immense physical and mental challenges for all involved. But with a lifetime of students to inspire, there's nowhere else these teachers would rather be. Andrea Johnston, Anglia News. Dozens of jobs could be created after the Lotus Formula One team announced plans to build a wind tunnel. They're taking over two more factory units for its sister team, Air Asia, which will compete in GP2. The team...